Hello everyone and welcome to Mike Muses Megazords. Today's video is issue 52 of the Altair Megazord build. And we're going to continue on with the Triceratops build and focusing on the Triceratops body and what would become Megazord's left knee joint. So we'll do our usual get rid of the packaging, do our parts check and then we'll dive right in. Okay then, so from the top we have got 52-1, which are two neck piece collars. 52-2 is the knee socket joint. 52-3 is the clip for the knee. 52-4 and 5 are the knee socket pivot uh, structures. 52-6 is the part which will hold this all together into the body of Triceratops. 52-7 is the back leg stop. Uh, 52-8 is the main structure piece for the next issue. 52.9 is a pressed metal hinge, 52.10 is a friction post, uh, friction joint, sorry, and 52.11 we've got two plus a spare of the 2x5mm machine screws. Over the page we go and let's get started. So here's our previous week's uh, assembly of the Triceratops head and neck. So section A is going to be very simple, both the 52.1 um, sections will just press into place using these three connection points here. So here's the first one. So this will just press into place, no screws or anything to attach it. And now the second part on the opposite side in exactly the same way. So they're both interchangeable, doesn't matter which way around these go. But now we've got nice smooth sides on the uh, on the main ankle pivot of Megazord. Section B, we're going to take 52.3 and insert it into 52.2. And this will just go straight into place and clip into place. Just like that. Onto section C, we're going to take the friction post from uh, 5210 and that's going to go into 526. So, as usual with these, if you can't get it in with just finger pressure, then some sort of bracing to put it in. But this has gone in perfectly fine. Over the page we go. And the last section is going to be to put this. Uh, section C's assembly into 52.5 and this will provide the the knee socket pivot on Triceratops as a leg <clears throat> so that sub assembly will just press into place here. And there we have it. This one was a parts issue rather than an assembly issue, but that's fine. I'm sure we're going to be using all of these in issue 53 next week. 
And there you can see all of the parts that we're going to be using for next week's issue. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're just joining us. Anything you want to talk about, drop a comment in the box. And we'll see you next week for issue 53. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.